Let's fill it up some more. All right, and that's it. Hey everyone, it's Heather. Thank you so much for letting me put my game on for you. Today's game is Amnesia the Bunker. Stay tuned because in this episode, I get out of the bunker and finish the game. look for a couple other supplies since I know I'm like nearing the end at this point let's just see if maybe I forgot some things body of sergeant Raynard multiple lacerations chest cavity torn to shreds every rib cracked skull cracked open by repeated blunt force trauma who could have done this to him In regards the in regards the fate of Saboteur to Saint Befo, LaRue has added further details to his confession. He now claims that upon entering the Roman tunnels that night, Toussaint confided in LaRue that he had other work to do. When LaRue pressed him for detail, Toussaint whispered something and pointed to his own eyes. Soon after, Toussaint split from the other saboteurs and disappeared into the darkness. When the others failed to locate him, they assumed he had returned to his bunk and proceeded with their plan. I believe it's safe to assume that Toussaint either perished in the blast or has since starved to death in the rubble. In the rubble. I bet you I need the generator on. Uh, don't have all the time in the world, but we'll get through it. Excuse me. Hello. Follow the wires. Oh wow, look at that water just drain out of there. Nice. Those are eyeballs. What the hell? Had to see what the dark held. Had to. Know your farber, all of them. They don't have the right kind of eyes. There's a world down here full of seductions and secrets, and my eyes are right for it. Never mind that. They trapped me down here. I have seen. Ha! 
a vision. A vision of gone world, bloody and terrible, beautiful and awful, godly and infernal. All around me voices, the past clawing, spinning, whirling, and I don't know what they want. I don't know what they want. Have to stop it. Can't see it anymore. It, it tasks me with what I do not know. Please, God above, if you ever were there, end this. Give me some way to end this. I see it now. Ha! I see it now. See it now. See not. See it now. See it not. Whirling and whirling and whirling. It calls for blood. This might have been one that I missed also. Our mad classist has struck again. Neuer has filed a report claiming that the Romans use these tunnels to hold sadistic bacchanals. Great festivals of cruel combat, torture, and worse. Further, he says these were all held in an arena over a great pit. Any who fell into it fell into screaming darkness. His words. What a poet. I've been in the tunnels. They are tunnels. Full stop. Recommend surveillance on Neuer. Okay, I don't think... I don't think this one has been read. And for Henry, you get to hear Night him. Of July. Night. My conscience compels me now, as it failed to compel me then. I must do something. Even if it costs me my own life, <clears throat> I must do something lest I never sleep again. I must do something or risk greeting hell itself as a relief. I must do something. I go. I don't know what I got out of that. I still don't totally understand Henry's entry, unless it is a hint that he either suspects or knows Lambert is changing into the monster, and he's coming to terms that he might have to end it. As I make my way through the tunnels, I catch a glimpse of the detonator handle, like a sign of hope that I'm getting closer to getting out of the bunker. Okay, if this was really me, I would just turn back the other way. Humans can be really fucking creepy. Crap, I think that's where I'd have to go. <laughs> what is this dude? was really a lucky shot and I didn't know I could kill the guy to get the shotgun. His loss is my gain, am I right? I had a hard time navigating the Roman tunnels purely because the dust obstructed my view and sense of direction, but I stumbled upon the detonator handle nonetheless.
because something is up with this piece, although I really don't know how you're supposed to use it. I'm not really sure how to get out of here. Apparently there's a ledge I need to jump down. Oh god, those shadows. Freaky as hell. There's like this ledge right there. Yeah, like this. Now I guess we're out. Well, we got the Lambert key tag. Three, six, zero, eight. I am going to see if maybe this is the code that will get me into that one room um, that's to the right of the tunnels. Otherwise, I don't really recall seeing the Lambert locker, but I guess we'll try that also. But I think since we're just here, let's just try it. Just FYI, I do not recommend you use the bunny in the way I'm about to. It's a super lame move, and I wish I kept it until the final boss fight. I'm curious though, how did you use the bunny in your playthrough? Leave a comment about it down below. I unlocked some kind of code. How to get the hell out of here. Let's see. Have not seen another human for hours now. I might be the last, but in the hope that there might be another, I leave this now so you do not waste any time. This is the only exit, the only way out of this hell of our own making. It was blown closed. It needs to be blown open. Don't bother digging. Impossible. Blow it up. The dynamite is locked in the arsenal. The detonator handle is somewhere down in the Roman tunnels, deeper in hell. I go now to try to retrieve them both, though I do not know if you exist. I pray for you. Please extend me the same courtesy. Okay, so that's right. The arsenal. No, but there's something about the damn soldier quarters that I can't remember. So I have the detonator handle, and I guess I could leave that in storage since everything is going to have to make its way up to this room into the exit okay here it is yeah so trapped down here with the beast the arsenal may be your only hope it's all i can do all i have courage to do get to the communications room in the soldier quarters hide there i'll broadcast the code to you so yeah we need to find the communication room in the soldier quarters and of course of course, that is the one map that I just don't have, so I don't fucking know where I'm going. 
Okay, so the plan is that we're going to go to the soldier quarters. We're going to find that communications room and get the code that's supposed to be broadcasted on the radio and everything. From there, it sounds like then we go to the arsenal room. So that is the plan for right now. So let's get to it. Oh shit. first room. I think he's walking around right now. that hurt him. Oh, you could hide underneath the beds. Alex Neuer. Finally got some answers from the engineering room. Command believes there are old Roman tunnels adjacent to our position. They're opening them this evening. Command hopes to use them to launch a surprise attack, as if any attack at this point could be termed surprise. This is a war. We are always expecting an attack. Curious to see these tunnels, though. A little dash of antiquity would liven the place up. It certainly, it certainly help keep my mind off the daily grind of the war. May 9th, 1916. The officers presented me today with a rather unexpected and strange gift. Aging text from inside the Roman tunnels. Seems they got word of my interests. It took them, of course, but the truth is these texts are far too fragile, too valuable to survive life in this horrid place. They require more delicate hands, more learned minds than mine. Still, curiosity reigns. May 11th, 1916. This morning, Ackerman died of his wounds. I'd only known him a time, but consider him one of my, my better friends. I hope heaven welcomes him. To distract myself, I have been going over the text and have had quite the shock. These texts are not Roman in origin. The language is Latin. 
The language is Latin or Latinate at least, but what they're writing about has no reflection of what I know of Roman culture from any era. The texts seem to be of religious or at least superstitious nature. A phrase is repeated to cross into the darkness beyond and then something about sight. May 13th, 1916. Haven't slept, haven't slept, need to get this down. The texts are of religious nature. Whoever these ancient people were, they believed that they found a means to immortality. And to achieve this goal, they needed access to what they thought was some other world, one dominated by darkness and ruled by, I don't know. They use words I can't translate, ru ruled by something. They claimed that dark other world was full of spirits, monsters, and that the air there was endlessly alive with cries of torment and sickly rattle of souls near death. That is what they were using the tunnels for. For them, it was a doorway into some pagan hell. The texts are full of wild stories of blood orgies, of sadistic spirits, of the awful things these men and women would do to each other in worship of darkness. They speak at length of some substance that is meant to grant the worthy some kind of immortality in darkness. I'm on patrol tonight. Need to sleep before then, but then I'm back at this gathering of the willing. After what happened with Neuer, after how Reynard and Fournier created him, and LaRue, there's only one way to forward us. I've gathered men I can trust, propose to them what we will do to a man all of them all of them were willing. It was such a relief. T seemed eager to go. The poor man, I hear him at night muttering in rhymes trying to comfort himself. For his sake, for all our sakes, this nightmare must stop. Late now on the 14th of June, this nightmare ha the nightmares have stopped. We no longer hear those sounds, but now I am plagued by worse nightmares. My fellow saboteurs were all caught. Delphi and Raynard tortured, tortured them even now. And yet none of them have turned me in. I alone have escaped punishment. The honor among these men, my brothers, I'm not worthy of it. It haunts me. The guilt of it. I know they will be court-martialed, maybe even put to death, and here I am. My consolation, the war will punish me as it punishes all of us, and I will remain vigilant, lest whatever darkness lurks in those tunnels. I thought that was going to happen. I put that explosive right in front of his hole because I kind of figured he would trigger it when he knocked it out to get through the hole. So that actually, I think that scared him. So he might stay hidden for a little bit. July 1916, up again, in the chapel, trying to pray, but my mind is too alive with thoughts of the crater, the rabbit, and that water, its taste. And yet I don't feel tired. Instead, I feel this itch, this sense that there are things I must do, purpose, a bloody purpose higher than any of man's petty wars. 13th July 1916, morning. Everyone's talking about hearing scratching at the walls. Tremblay even claims to have heard howls echoing through the barracks. I feel strange myself, can barely find the words to write. My hands feel so odd. 
Lord. Bulbous. Like they don't belong to me. Oh, I hesitate Lord. to write this, but a thought keeps echoing in my head. A thought I must not act on. A bloody thought so seductive. It calls. It calls. It calls. 15th July, 1916. Madness in the barracks this morning. Renard's dead. They say murder, but will not show us the body. A dream rises in my mind. Countless cruel eyes upon me. Must check on Henri. Wish he would wake. Could use a friend. My prayers remain unanswered. 18th July, 1916. Blood on my hands. Blood on my hands. Blood on my hands. Their pain. I want more of it. I can hear Tremblay now. Coming closer. 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 I can get what I want from him. This is a part two, so I'm missing one of his journals, but based on this, it almost makes me sound like the monster is maybe Lambert just uh, transformed in some way. Note to Farber, I was there when they pulled your friend Neuer from the tunnels. They'd been screaming for hours before he was located, tied to the stretcher. He was still trying to scream, but all that came out was horrible rasp. All of the engineers have seen things down there, myself included. We should ask you and I about what is to be done. Let me know when, Ozar. Tremblay, Farber dies. We were in the mess and it burst from the shadows right behind Boyce Rond. But Farber was there, ready, practically threw himself in front of the thing. And he shot it, hit it dead on. The thing retreated. We thought for sure it was dead, but then... Not 10 minutes later, it came back for him. I heard him screaming, being pulled into the walls, praying for salvation. I now, and, and now I can hear it moving again, getting closer. Have to move now. We'll all suffer his fate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw my grenade down there and then I'm just gonna hide in this room. So. So the grenade probably opened up that door and then uh, this monster is going to try to look for me for a little bit, but I'm hoping the only thing that sucks is like now I'm wasting valuable time with the generator. turn all that on.
there's a brick. I will throw this thing at him if he, uh... Fuck. Got... Go to the arsenal. Seven, seven, four, seven. This is not the arsenal. This is the prison. Arsenal. Okay. I'm just moving these in case I need to hide behind them. As if this will work. I don't think, I think this is proven to not work. <laughs> Right there. And jump over that. Fuck. I would hope that that would have scared him, but apparently it's not going to. No, I am so close. There we go.
Is there anything special in there? And then there's like this door here. I'm not going to waste my time though, because this generator... We're... I don't know how much longer we have for the generator to be on, and I feel like this is my only hope. <laughs> about the mace-like design of the arsenal is that the monster seems to have just as hard of a time navigating through it as Henry, and I figured that out early on. As a result, I was more comfortable running through the maze than normal and confident the monster wouldn't be able to catch up to me. get in here so I'm gonna hang out here for just a little bit. Though I have the dynamite, I have the detonator handle, so I think the next piece is putting together blow up that hole. And then I think there is fine uh, like final um confrontation with the monster from what I understand so I <laughs> I have like no more weapons. Like I am so defenseless, so I'm not even sure how I'm gonna get through that part, but hopefully the lead up to that will give me, you know, some more grenades and ways to make a Molotov or whatever. But until then, I am just gonna wait for that monster to leave. And I swear to God, I've heard that he doesn't, he's not able to make it in here into the tunnels. So he better not fucking make it in these tunnels. <laughs> Do I put... Ah? Uh... Oh boy, guys. Okay, getting closer. Okay, so I got out, I think. Are you sure there's still a boss fight? <laughs> that I'm gonna have to do. Hey, I did not go up. I went down. <laughs> I'm gonna use the boxes to escape out of here. It's really the only way I know. And so begins my last and only way to get out. Since I didn't have any weapons, I felt my only hope was to move the boxes so I could scale the stone wall. So my strategy included running around, ensuring there was distance between the monster and I, and as I approached the front with the stone wall, I'd inch the box just a little closer each time.
going back! in circles until I get it. Yeah. You have no idea what a sigh of relief I had once I got over the wall. At the same time, I wanted to take a moment and look back, but I could hear the monster was following and I didn't want to risk it. Without looking back, I pushed some rocks aside and surfaced, only to fall into a muddy pit full of dead bodies. But I didn't care. I wasn't underground in that creepy ass bunker anymore. All right. Ooh. That wasn't so bad. You just gotta keep running to buy yourself some time. It's a pretty common strategy for a lot of these games. Oh, poor Lambert. Now I gotta escape this war. <laughs> Just unleash that monster. We're in the middle of wartime. My nerves <laughs> are so bad right now. Overall, that was a really fun game, but I think the length of it was just right because I don't know if I would have been able to handle much more of just like all of the anxiety that this game gave me but finally beat it so thank you so much for spending some time with me and playing through this game uh like and subscribe and uh we'll just see you in the next one thanks bye 45 bullets it felt like a lot less a lot less than 45 I swear it felt like I was able to fire like five times